Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. Welcome to another free Sage tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dispatch notes on Sage 50 Cloud and Sage 50 accounts. In order to create a dispatch note, we need to have a sales order. If the sales orders feature is not showing on Sage, then it could be that your package is too basic and you need to upgrade to include this feature. If you know how to create new invoices on Sage or new quotations, then creating a new sales order will be very straightforward because it's very much the same. The template looks the same. Even the module here with this list and the icons at the top look very similar to these other two modules. So with sales orders, let's create a sales order. So click on new. We have to have a sales order in order to create a dispatch note. Sales order, we put in the date, let's use today's date. We choose the customer, let's choose Bookkeeper Master. Click OK. There are optional boxes here that we can fill out, such as the customer order number, invoice reference, etc. We choose our product. If you're not selling products, then you'll just choose whatever line you need for the service that you're going to provide. Let's do this, Books 001, there's 63 in stock, A4 ledger books, let's click OK. And let's say the sales order is for 25 of these, totaling £189.75. This sales order is now complete. I can save this. I can allocate stock to this sales order, or I can do that later. It's really up to me. This will not impact the dispatch note. So I can allocate the 25 books 001 to the sales order, take them out of stock on Sage now, or I can do that later. Let's do that now. There were 63 of them in stock. We now have a look at that. Books 001, there's now 38. So going back to sales orders, this is our sales order down here. You can see in the allocated column, we've allocated the stock in full. In dispatched, it's blank. Now that will change once we dispatch the goods by creating the dispatch note. So once the dis goods are dispatched, we can record that dispatch on Sage by clicking dispatch notes and creating that dispatch note that we want to perhaps send with the goods or email over to the client. So we have the date of dispatch. Let's do today and let's choose our customer, book 001. You'll notice that I highlighted that customer before clicking dispatch notes. So if you highlight them, click dispatch notes and they'll appear in this list here. Book 001, so we have 25 of them. We're dispatching 25. We can click save. So this is this dispatch, two dispatch, and how much they ordered. If we click print now, find the layout we want. Let's do the A4 dispatch note. It would generate that dispatch note, 25 books 001, quantity remaining, zero, which we can send with the goods. Let's come out of here. Okay, so that's now being dispatched. We can't do anything else there. When the goods are dispatched, so we can see it shows us complete now, the invoice will be created automatically. Here we go, here's the invoice. If we have a look at this invoice, we have 18975, 25 of books 001. So marking the goods as dispatched and creating that dispatch note automatically then creates the invoice, which we can also perhaps put with the goods or email over to the client or perhaps just send over a later date by editing the date and then sending that over. Hopefully this helps. If this video has been helpful, please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my videos.